Hello Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly reading from the 16th until the 22nd of August 2021. Let's get into this. Let's see how is your week going to be. Let me burn some herbs while I'm busy getting the cards shuffled here and we're going to get the main energy out. While the herbs are burning, I ask that they clear this space of all the previous readings I've done and call in your spirit guides to come in and guide this reading forward for us. Let's get these cards nicely shuffled. The angel tarot cards is going to be what I pull out just one card to see what the overall kind of focus is going to be for you this week if I can shuffle them when these cards are so very hard they this card is like I had it for ages this deck but the, it's so hard look at the quality of this so let's get in here and see what is going on that card wanted to be seen it just flipped too quickly let's have a look and see what it is <gasps> something is going your way you got the Justice card. This is a major arcana. Archangel Ragul's energy. Ooh, something is definitely going to be in your favor this week. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. There's a lot of that going around right now. <laughs> All over the world. Everybody's got something to say. Everybody's standing up for their beliefs. Yeah, well, it's express yourselves, guys. Um, with this energy, something is definitely going your way. If by any chance, I'm just going to say this one. Also, by the way, before I forget, this is also Libra's energy as well. If by any chance you are in something that is court related, this is excellent stuff to come up here for you. It looks like you're in the right and going to be seen as being in the right. For some of you guys, this can be... Um, work related as well where maybe you got there's something that was said to you at work or there's some kind of you know how we get into trouble at work sometimes okay i don't work but um i have i have youtube uh we can get into trouble with youtube as well you know what i mean <laughs> don't worry and it can it's a literally this energy of things going your way so let's have a look into your week and actually see what is all this this is very positive master energy got the devil card coming up here you know something without a doubt here. Um, the devil card, also Capricorn's energy, two major arcanas coming in here. There is something that you know. There is something that you feel like, I know I'm in the right. I know everything's going to go my way. I know I'm, I'm, I'm standing in the strength position. And you want to face this head on. I feel like it's very strong energy, very grounded. For some of you guys, this is really a court case, eh? That's how I'm picking it up. Let's see what goes in here. Can even be something else here, guys. It can even be something like a divorce here. Hey? I did want a divorce. It's just that, you know, you mentioned it so many times and you're just like, can't, everything cannot just be a divorce. But this can be anything that you know you're in the right. you got an Eight of Cups energy. It literally says moving on. That's why I'm putting it out there that it can be you leaving a connection. Um, you are going to be fine. Whatever this is, is really going to go in your favor. Look at this. you got the Sun card. You got the healing card. Oh my goodness. Six of swords, guys. You're going to you're gonna win this. And you're going to shine. Reveal who you are. I'm finding it interesting. In the devil card here, you see the heart. Speak your heart. Speak your heart. If you are going to court for anything this week. Uh, this is a very specific reading. And it's just too strong, you know. Um, if there's anything that you have to go and... Like there's some kind of hearing or there's something that you're doing. And even if it's not this week, but it's ahead of you, you are going to um, win this thing. You must speak your heart. Look at the sun card. It's revealing. It's opening of heart energy. It's literally how your arms are so open. It's like you need to speak your heart and mind and soul and reveal that to whomever is there because you will be heard. Oh my goodness, guys. And with this Eight of Cups being here, you're going to leave this situation behind you and move forward. And that is when you're going to move into the Six of Swords energy where you'll be able to start healing. Oh, if you're really worried about this, oh, you're going to be just fine, guys. You will be just fine. And if you're not just fine, contact me. I'll get the ox tongue out. Don't even ask. <laughs> there are things you can do. Look at this. The death energy. Wow. No way. Release. Look at this. You're reading. This is definitely, you're going you're gonna to get this right. You are going to get this right. You're going to be able to move on this from this. Also Scorpio's card as well. Let's see. Yo, what's up with you in this reading? You got a the the strength card. Yeah, you got a full card. Unbelievable. 
this is a very strong reading. You're going to, you're walking away from something. You've got a death card coming up here which says release. Release. Let go. Something is over. Wow, look at that, moving on. Wow, you're going to be healing from something. And it says detach here. This is the strength card, Leo's energy. They depict it in, they depict it in this, um, uh, for the psychic tarot of the heart as detaching. And that means it's taking you, if you have a look at the image really carefully, I hope you can actually see. Let me just touch that, that camera. Um, it actually shows somebody like being in this picture, but they're kind of like stepping out of it. And you can see after they step out of it, detaching from a situation, it's very cold where they're coming from. And then they leave this energy of the stuff here and it's like you're making peace with the past and you're letting it go and you're detaching and you're moving on. Wow. And this is nice. The Eight of Pentacles is dedicated effort. It's this energy of you focusing now on building stability and your future. And that is a new beginning with the full card coming in there. Taking that leap of faith, stepping forward into a new beginning. You're going to leave this behind. You're not going to be stuck here any longer. Justice is on your side. You're leaving this behind and you're stepping out of the situation and it's going to be on in your favor. Let's have a look and see what this, this detach and release justice in the reverse position. You're kidding with me. It is impossible. It is impossible that I draw this card out here like this. What has brought you here is an injustice that has taken place towards you. And you're going to overcome it because the justice card is in the, the main energy is you overcome that injustice. That is unbelievable. Let's see what you're moving on from. I feel like shuffling this again. What are you moving on from and detaching from? Letting go. Set it free, guys. Set it free. Let that bird go. Let's see. A breakup. Instability. Even perhaps leaving, if, you're, if it's not a relationship, it can even be you uh, leaving, say, work or a job behind. Wow. Let's see what this future holds. Let's see what these, what these cards are here. The healing. Uh, no, let's start with this dedicated effort and the sun, which is so positive. What is this about? This reading. You're going to be in hermit mode a little bit here. I feel like you're going to be alone a little bit after this with the hermit card coming in here. Also Virgo's energy. We've got a lot of star signs coming up here. Um, you're going to be on your own. You're going to be experiencing some new things that you have not experienced before. But what I can tell you is that you're going to be learning a lot moving forward. Let's have a look at this new beginning and the healing. The sun card in the reverse position. It may not have been what you wanted. I mean, let me tell you, um, new beginnings, new starts, Sometimes we don't want to have that, but you need to change how you're looking at this new beginning. The situation that you're in now, you need to change how you're looking at it because you've literally got the sun card twice in your reading. This card, this reading has got a lot of synchronicities. So when you see the justice card coming up twice, you see the sun card coming up twice. It indicates that you are moving towards in the, you're in the right direction. What you're doing now is what you're meant to be doing. And you just have to look at life in a very different way moving forward. After this, it's still growth, guys. Even when the sun card comes up in the reverse position, it's still growth. I think you have to look at the whole situation that you've been in here. And actually, you're going to see as time goes by that standing up for yourself and fighting for yourself and even doing the right thing which is like, you know, this is so interesting. I'm remembering what the card says. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. You're doing the right thing. And by doing that, everything that you're going through is literally going to lead you to an even better place than where you have been now. Wow, guys, it's going to go your way. It is going to go your way. Do not fret. Speak your mind. Speak your heart. Speak your soul when you need to. Wow, guys. I'm wishing you all the best going forward. Hey, I mean, if this reading does resonate with you, please hit that thumbs up button. That will help me. It will be justice for me. You know, um, uh, subscribe as well if you want to. Readings are coming out on a Sunday for the weekly readings. Um, Friday for weekend readings. And a pick a card usually comes up in the middle of the week. If you want to follow me on another social media platform, I've got a TikTok account where I'm releasing 
content that is not here. Um, I've got an Instagram as well, which is just like a fun place for me. I just enjoy Instagram. I post a lot of memes, you know what I mean? And uh, you can also get book a personal reading with me as well. If you need to know any more information or want to know something more, there is an email below in the description box of this reading. Otherwise, I'm sending my love in your direction. You are going to be absolutely just fine going forward. Sending my love, guys. Bye.